on the roof that caused lots of problems. Although being only 60 square meters wide, it caused lots of damages underneath of the roof. Not only underneath, but also on the surrounding area, all the tiles are coming off. And we started this refurbishment by thinking that we shall just mend a little cut on the waterproofing and ended up by taking and stripping off all the layers all the way down to the structure. So what was the problem? We have a tiny little roof with the attica, which is not higher than approximately 40 centimeters. On that, we had some waterproofing and some thermal insulation and some green roof with the drainage accumulation layer and the greenery that came all the way to the attica to a very line between the attica and the green roof which is the first mistake because the water that stays here can easily penetrate the tiny little cracks which occurred after the humidity have eaten out all the glue on the tiles which are cladding on the attica. So what we did, first we removed the plants, we removed all the dirt and all the layers underneath and we came to the waterproofing. So the first negative thing that we found out was that the, on the surface of the roof, here is the water outlet, the inclination which was originally planned like this, instead of having the lowest point here at the water outlet, the lowest point of the roof was somewhere here, a good meter far from the water outlet. So the structural problems which were done by building the roof, including also the not very good waterproofing installment, caused the problem later on and now we are mending all of it. So the structural problems, we are refurbishing the waterproofing by adding some vapor control layer, some inclination done with XPS boards, a new two layers of bituminous membrane on top of which we shall return the originally planned and installed green roof.